Sammy the Caterpillar, written and illustrated by Kimberly Morwitzer. Once, there was a caterpillar named Sammy. Sammy was a fun-loving caterpillar. He was quite adventurous and loved spending time with his friends. Although Sammy had a fun time with his friends, he was sad. His friends liked to get together and play. One of their favorite things to do was race across the pond. Poor Sammy could only crawl along on the ground. His friend, the bee, could zoom high up in the air. All Sammy could do was watch, and this made him feel sad. Also, his friend the frog could hop and jump from place to place and would often leave Sammy behind. And Sammy's friend the duck could swim across the water. All Sammy could do was watch, so he felt very left out. Sammy wanted to be a part of his friend's game, so he decided to help out in any way he could. Ready, set, go, shouted Sammy. His friends were off. B flew up in the air and headed straight for the other side of the pond, going at full speed. Duck paddled her legs as fast as she could and sent the water splashing behind her. Frog used his strong leg muscles to help him jump from lily pad to lily pad. They all reached the other side at about the same time, and Sammy was so far away he couldn't tell who had won. As his friends cheered and laughed across the pond, Sammy felt very left out that he couldn't fly, swim, or jump. Even if it were a race on the ground, his short little legs couldn't even go fast enough to keep up with his friends. Sammy felt very sad. One day, Sammy felt very strange. He wasn't sure if he was just tired, so he climbed up high in a tree and made his way to a limb that stretched out far. I feel kind of sleepy, thought Sammy. Sammy spun a little blanket for himself and fell fast asleep. While he was asleep, some very strange things started happening to Sammy. Although Sammy did not realize it, he was about to go through a very big change. After a few days, Sammy woke up and discovered that he was not the same. He wondered what had happened. Sammy broke through the protective shell around him and sat on the branch. Suddenly, he noticed his wings. What, wh what, Sammy gasped. Wow, he then exclaimed. Suddenly, another creature like Sammy landed on the branch in front of him. Hi, my name is Chloe. Sammy introduced himself and then quickly asked, what happened to me? Chloe giggled and explained, Sammy, you are a caterpillar and you changed into a butterfly. Like you, Sammy questioned. Mm, sort of, I'm a moth. Moths and butterflies are very similar. Come on, I'll show you around and explain a few things to you. Chloe led them over to a picnic table. Sammy landed on a cupcake. Whoa, why can I taste this cupcake? It's not even in my mouth. Chloe laughed and explained. That's because butterflies are able to taste with their feet. All you have to do is stand on something to see what it tastes like. Cool, huh? Sammy agreed and then asked, can I eat it? Butterflies don't have teeth, silly, said Chloe. Chloe led him to a flower. She said, and we don't eat cupcakes. We drink nectar from flowers. Sammy used his proboscis to drink some nectar, and he thought it was delicious. Yum, he said. Sammy was amazed at how quickly these changes happened. So what exactly happened to me again, he quizzed. You were a caterpillar, and then you formed a chrysalis. The name for you inside a chrysalis is a pupa. After being in the chrysalis for several days, you emerged and were a butterfly. Okay, said Sammy. Caterpillar to pupa in a chrysalis to butterfly. Right, said Chloe. Well, thank you very much for the information. I'm going to go try out my wings some more. No problem, said Chloe. Have fun. Sammy flew back to the pond, just as his friends were about to start a race. Hey everybody, guess who, Sammy shouted. His friends were very surprised when they discovered he had changed from caterpillar to butterfly. They were all so excited when they realized he could now join in on the fun. I'm so happy for you, Sammy, said Duck. I agree, exclaimed the bee. 
Oh, Sammy, asked Frog, will you still do the honors? Of course, said Sammy happily. He spread his wings and said with a smile, ready, set, go. The end.